It's Addie's because she's been very into the books lately. She's read the first two so far, and we wanted to go all out for a special birthday. Because of the coronavirus shutting down everything around us, Addie was not able to have a birthday party with her friends this year. But I have been telling her and all the kiddos that are in the same situation that just because your birthday is a little bit different than you had first expected it to be, does not mean that it cannot still be extra special. And we are making Addie's birthday extra special today. <laughs> so the first part of Addie's family party is going to be a scavenger hunt. And we actually got this idea from a fan who had a scavenger hunt for her birthday party, right? Yes. So Addie's gonna hunt all through the house. We're gonna follow some Harry Potter themed clues and it's gonna lead us to a bunch of fun Harry Potter themed gifts. Maya's given her the first clue. And first, what's your shirt say, Addie? Um, I, don't I know. solemnly swear that it's my birthday, a Harry Potter shirt. <laughs> All right, open up that first clue. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Bum, bum, bum. What does it say? Unless you have a robe, your back will feel quite bare. So go and find this outer gown where you pick up where you pick out what you wear. Well, her first present is somewhere where she picks out what she wears. Okay, so that's either my dresser or one of the closets. In Let's go up to Addie's room. <laughs> where could it be? Oh, there we go. Costume. All right, pull it here and let's get it on. All right. Now, I've actually never read Harry Potter, but Addie has been reading the books, and then after she finishes each book, we've been doing a movie night. So I've seen the first movie with her, and she just finished the second book, so we're gonna watch the second movie tonight as part of her birthday celebration. Will you have your Gryffindor logo here? Yes, Gryffindor. And that's the house that Hermione and Harry Potter are part yes, of, right? Next clue. Next clue, okay. To show that you're in Gryffindor, you need a tie for your neck. Try taking a look outside on the table that's on the deck. And Addie, what is a Gryffindor? Because if you don't watch Harry Potter, that might sound kind of funny. What's a Gryffindor? Um, basically, there's four houses in Harry Potter. Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. And Hermione, Harry Potter, and Ron are all in Gryffindor. So that's the house that they're in, and that's the house that I am in right now. All right, let's go see if they can find the next clue on the screen and porch. Red and yellow tie is what we're looking for. <laughs> All right, let's go. There's her tie. No. Are you gonna put it on? Um, yeah, but I don't know how to. All right, Daddy, do you know how to put on a tie? I do. Come over here, Addy. <laughs> You're officially a part of Gryffindor now, Addy. Yay. It's been many years since Daddy's put on a tie, so we'll see if he remembers. <laughs> Okay, we did it. There you go. All right, should we see the next clue now? Yeah. You're not going to be able to see without your unique glasses. These hidden, these are hidden away with, away with the books you brought from classes. I kind of think it would be either no, in the homeschool no. room or okay. in the backpack I bring to mm. school. I think the second one might be the way right, to go. go. Backpack. Backpack. Okay, your backpack. Okay. There's some Harry Potter glasses. Yay! I think you look stylish. <laughs> what do you think, Eddie? Hmm, I like it. <laughs> open it, open it, open it! It's too high. Okay. Your outfit will not be complete until you have a bracelet for your wrist. You'll have to search through the kitchen cupboards, or else this item will be missed. Maybe it won't. Alright, off to the kitchen. Alright, let's go. Off. off to the kitchen. So Eddie's got to search the cupboard for something Harry Potter themed. Oh, oh, you found it already. That was quick. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna 
So it's a Gryffindor bracelet. Pretty yeah. cool, Addie. Yes, I'm gonna wear it right now. <laughs> You'll need your special wand in order to cast a spell with with the things you take when you're ill and want to be well. Oh, I know what that is. It's in the first aid slash laundry room. Off to our medicine stash, the first aid kit. I want to get it. Can I have it? Oh, is it your special wand? Ah! It's the one she wanted. <laughs> it, it makes light pictures. I think it glows in the dark. Wow! That's pretty neat. Yeah. Can you watch right now? I have it. How will you know what house you're in unless you have, you have the sorting hat? It's currently doing its sorting on the front door mat. Come on, let's go in. Okay, front door mat. It's a sorting hat. So Addie, maybe you can explain what a sorting hat is. It's kind of a crazy, silly looking hat. So you know how upstairs I explained what houses there are in? Basically you use Slytherin, okay. You use this sorting hat that Professor McGonnell puts on your head and then it sorts you into your houses. And then so, the sorting so it actually like talks, right? And it yeah. tells you what house you go in. Gryffindor is what this says to me. <laughs> Don't forget that you'll need Hedwig, your your ever trusty owl. He's currently keeping warm, wrapped up in a towel. Let's see. Ooh, it's hey, 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 hey. There he is, it's so Hedwig. Oh my goodness, so cute. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh Hedwig is pretty cute. Go and find a bee as you need something for what for your head, it can be found under the table where you sit in order to be fed. Maybe, well the tables are in the kitchen. Let's see, oh, she sees something. A Gryffindor beanie. It's cold and winter outside. <laughs> but in the movie, they all have Gryffindor, like beanies and scarves, I think, and ties and the Gryffindor colors are clearly the like the maroon and the gold color so the hat fits the theme. Next clue. You'll need to wear a scarf so you don't catch a chill. You'll have to search the house. It's on a windowsill. We're looking for a scarf on a windowsill and I'll give you a clue it's on the first and this level of the house somewhere. Take the short okay shortcut. Oh don't tell her Maya into the office. No! Oh, there it is. Their birthday present. All right, here's the scarf. There's the, the scarf. Oh, so cool. Okay, let's see. Is that a broomstick that will fly, you'll never get around. You can find your special Nimbus in the front of an XOXO background. The basement may have them, hmm. Hmm, what are they talking about, do we think? Oh, maybe a Nimbus uh, 2000. In the ba the, what's a Nimbus 2000? Um, it's the broomstick. It's the, the latest, latest model. It's the latest model of the newest broom broomstick. That they fly, right? Yeah, they fly. All right, let's, let's go. go check. Come on, Nimbus. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right, down to the Excel. former toy school room. I see, I see. The new Nimbus 2000. It's the latest model. Whoa. A broomstick. Are you going to ride the broomstick? The next clue is the last and final clue, so let's see where it's taking us. Okay, you complete the scavenger hunt. Can I you need a golden snitch, so look where you store the coins that make you rich. Where do we keep, was it money or coins? What did the, what did the clue say again? I think it said coins. Okay, um, so where do we keep coins? Oh, I know. Come on, you think you know? I think it's in the toy cafe cash box. Okay, it could be in there. Okay, we're looking at the toy cafe. Is there any money in, is in here? No, okay. Okay, so we have some jars upstairs where we sort our coins. So let's go check that and see if there are the gifts in there. Maybe inside. Right, there they are. Could it be near there? Not inside. Maybe check the drawers below the coins. It's a golden snitch! 
it is, let me see that. The golden snitch. Let's get out of the package. Now again, if you haven't watched or read Harry Potter, you might be wondering, what in the world is a golden snitch? So how would you describe it, Addy? Um, basically, there's these games that they play called Quidditch matches, and Harry's job is to um catch the golden snitch, which is this. Yeah. And then um, if he catches the golden snitch, he earns 50 points for Gryffindor. 150. Yeah, 150. There's the golden snitch. Wow. Gotta be careful with that. It might fly away, Addy. <laughs> when you play Quidditch, you ride on broomsticks to play. Yeah. You can really fully reenact this. Did you catch it, Colin? Colin's riding a puppy right now. You gotta catch it. You gotta catch it. Yay! You got it! Yay! Well, that was the last item in our scavenger hunt, so I have to ask, out of all the prizes, the Harry Potter stuff, what was your favorite? I would say the wand. Let's see, the wand, Maya says. What do you think? These three, what are they? Uh, my wand, Hedwig. Hedwig, and the broom. And the broom. Yes. Now I think we can fully play Harry Potter at home. Yeah. We have like everything we need yeah. to reenact Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play. Woo! If you at home wanna try a similar scavenger hunt to the one we just did, I found it on Pinterest actually, and it was just a website just called scavenger hunt, I believe, .org, and it had tons of different scavenger hunts, and this was the one I picked out, and I typed up all the clues myself and found a Harry Potter font online. I think it came together pretty cute, and it was a lot of fun. If I call your name, I will put this hat on your name, and then on your head, and then it'll say what house name you are in. Start off, Colin Max. Well, come on, stay. He's gonna be sorted. Slytherin! Yay! Slytherin! The main thing Addie wanted to do on her birthday was to actually play Harry Potter. So we are playing Harry Potter right now, and Addie is sorting us into our classes. They're called classes, right? Houses. Next up is Maya Maxwell. Maya, it's your turn. Are you nervous? Slytherin! Ah. You're cool. You're cool. Oh, yeah. Jason's up now. Let's see what house he's gonna I'm get. Nervous. You <laughs> nervous, Jason? Be. I am. Oh, this is a tough one. Yeah. Oh, very tough. <laughs> very tough. Um, let's see. Gryffindor! Yay! I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> Addie is FaceTiming with her best bud Avery who is back in Phoenix right now. You've probably seen her, she's been in so many of our videos. Addie and Avery have birthdays four days apart. So they've always celebrated their birthdays together and it's been really hard now that we've moved to Nashville because we're not together for our birthdays anymore. So we always make a point to at least FaceTime or talk or call each other so the girls can connect to celebrate each other. <laughs> Those look so good, but they're Addie's. Mm -hmm. Does it say who it's from? Let's um, look on the Happy 10th birthday, Addie. We hope you have a great day. Avery, but it's Avery. Avery gave it to us. Is that so sweet? <laughs> Thank you, Avery, if you're watching this. Thank you, Avery, so much. <laughs> Thanks, Avery. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Harry Potter glasses down Happy there. Happy 10th birthday, Addy. It's on the Wow. We're moving straight from cookies to cake, and I have to say this cake is way, way bigger 
than I thought it was gonna be. It looks delicious, but it is ginormous. We are going to have to find some people to share a birthday cake with because yeah, yeah, I know. there is no way we can eat all of this. Yeah, I know who we can share it with. Who? Judy. That would be she sweet. Gave her some cake. We could give her cake. Give her some cake too. It's a lot of floor. It's like a lot high up. I know, I thought it would be like half this tall. And it's double. <laughs> There's no way we can eat all this, guys. Happy birthday to you. XOXO. Happy birthday to you. XOXO. Happy birthday, dear Addy. Happy birthday to you. I bet your wish was, I bet your wish was that you wish Hogwarts was real. Okay, who's ready to eat giant pieces of cake? Me! Oh, this is so big. I don't even know what to do with this much cake, guys. Whoa! I can't even cut it. Wow. Wow, what is that? So it's a vanilla chocolate chip cake with cookies and cream filling. This is gonna be good. Are you eating glasses? Oh no! How is it, birthday girl? <laughs> Luckily, our neighbors are willing to take in a couple giant slices of cake, so we are sharing the sweetness right now, aren't we? Yeah. And of course it started to rain right as the girls are delivering cake. So hopefully they'll be quick, right Colin? They don't get too wet. So one more girls. Emerson's mom texted and said he was so excited to see you guys after months of not seeing you guys. I know, it's been like months. The girls have missed seeing their neighborhood friends so much. We would play with them, or the girls would play with them pretty much every day after school. So it's been a big adjustment not having them around. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to get together with all the kiddos again soon because they have a blast when they're together. All right. Get it all delivered? Yep. I bet they were happy to get a big piece of cake. I know. <laughs> Emerson was really happy. The next part of our birthday celebration is game time. And Charades. what game are we going to play? Charades. Charades. Harry Potter charades. So we have a bunch of Harry Potter things to act out without words or without um, props. props. And we're going to see who can guess the most correct. All right, Addie, you want to go first? Yes. Mm. So let's see if we can figure out what Addy is acting out. Hair. The teacher. Teacher! A Hogwarts teacher! I don't know, she was doing like long hair, so maybe it's the Dumbledore. Is it Dumbledore? Yes! I got it! I got it! Dumbledore. Yes! I knew it was like the beard. <laughs> let's see what I have. Okay. Okay, let me think here. Oh, uh, the, 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 I didn't get mine, so let's see how daddy does. This one. Oh, this is probably what Maya got. Hey, right, go do it, go try it. Three words. Choosing one. Oh, that's, the one, <laughs> that's the one I got. <laughs> Good job, that was a tough one to act out. Oh, Well, this has been an awesome 10th birthday, Addie. I can't believe this 
girl is 10. Can you? When we started Tic Tac Toys, she was teeny tiny. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yes. Now, before we sign off, Addie has been practicing a magic spell oh. all day. She's been inspired by Hermione. So do you want to try it out? Yes. Okay. Oops. Hey, how did I get here? Uh, what? <laughs> That's weird. Um, Addie, do you have another spell maybe to get me out of here? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Oops. Wait, Colin, how did you get here? <laughs> um, here, let's try that again. Oops. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 <laughs>